So a couple months ago, I got a tattoo. Let me show you it real quick. Right there. You see that? It says American Dream in Urdu, which is what they speak in Pakistan. Let me tell you why I got it. In today's political climate, I think there's a lot of mixed messages about immigrants, first generation Americans, new Americans, not being proud to be an American. And speaking as a first generation American myself and as a son of immigrant parents, not being proud to be an American is the furthest thing from the truth. Like I showed in the beginning of this video, I have a tattoo that says American Dream and I bleed. American pride. I bleed red, white, and blue, and I just kind of want to spend this video talking about the experiences that I've gone through as a first gener generation American that kind of lead me to being prideful in my nationality. Now, this doesn't mean that I am ignorant or blind to the injustices that happen in this country, and I think that, in fact, being a first-generation American, a lot of those injustices are even more clear apparent to me and a lot of other people that go through the same experience that I've gone through. In fact, I believe that it's our American duty to be critical of our government, of our corporations, our organizations, and our society as a whole uh, to make sure that this big, huge melting pot is a place where you can pursue your dreams and be whatever you want to be because that is how I view this country. Country. And the only way for that to happen is for the people and the citizens of this country to be as critical as possible so that it is the land of the free, home of the brave. Now, some of the things I'll be covering aren't exclusive to first generation American experiences or immigrant experiences. Uh, just because I've gone through these things doesn't mean that other people in this country from other populations haven't gone through these things as well. I'm just talking about my experiences from my point of view. One of the biggest things that I'm extremely proud about being an American for is opportunity. I have the opportunity to be able to pursue the dreams and passions that I want to pursue because of the sacrifices that my parents have made when they came to this country. You know, my father came to this country with not much, not much to his name, but pursued a career that was considered safe. And to a lot of immigrant groups, safe means engineering or a doctor or a lawyer, uh, those careers that are seen as prestigious, and even though they might not be your passion, you know that it's a stable career, you'll make some money, and you're able to raise your family on that career. So my dad coming here and pursuing engineering allowed him to raise a family that is comfortable and pave the way for me to be able to pursue my passions. A lot of immigrants that come to this country are risk averse because they want to take this opportunity that they have to create the American dream, really take advantage of that opportunity. So they don't take risks to start a business or pursue things like acting or, or whatever. I also take pride in the fact that I can choose romantic relationships that I might not be able to pursue back home. Parents had an arranged marriage and a lot of people that I know that go down the traditional route of what their parents went through in Pakistan or from the home country is getting an arranged marriage or having their parents set up somebody for them. But I am lucky enough to be able in a, to be in a situation where I can choose my romantic partner. Now that's different for a lot of different families. That's completely a, a family thing and an individual thing. If somebody wants an arranged marriage, then that's totally okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Or if they want their parents to set them up with somebody, there's nothing wrong with that. But being able to have that option to pursue romantic interests that are people that are not just Pakistani, but from different cultural groups and different ethnicities, different races and religions uh, and different backgrounds, that is huge. I feel as though a lot of times we take the First Amendment for granted. Being raised as a first generationer has really showed me is a frame of reference that I feel like many other people might not realize straight away. I feel so proud and lucky to be able to live in a country where I can say whatever I want, speak my mind, and think 
freely to be able to express myself in the way that I want and not be jailed for it or not be killed for it or pursued because of the way that I think. I mean, I think the great thing is, is that there are so many different kinds of people on this earth. I, in America, you're really allowed to take that passion for whatever you might have. Let's say that's like being a flat earther. If you're a flat earther, you can find thousands of other flat earthers. And in America, you can get together with them and celebrate that fact. I think that we're in such a unique place where there are so many different cultures and so many ways of thinking and people that come from from backgrounds of so many various places that I think a lot of times we might take that for granted. If you go anywhere else in the world, you'll usually find people that all either look the same or have the same religion or follow the same ideologies. And in America, that's not the case. To be able to create relationships with people from all these different backgrounds, I think is not only a great personal tool of for development, but also a step forward for society. The biggest thing to be proud about, about being an American, is the fact that you can create your own luck. You can work as hard as you want to work, and you can be as success successful as you want to be. That doesn't mean it's gonna come easy, but you see thousands and thousands of immigrants coming to this country and really taking advantage of the fact that they can pursue their dreams or to work really hard and reap the benefits of that hard work. To read what one of my friends, Brandon, sent to me, <coughs> America continues to be the greatest nation on earth and for good reason. This is clearly evident by the millions of immigrants who continue to immigrate here every year and the millions more who want to but are not able. And this is not because of what America gives you for free, but for what it can reward you with, with hard work, dedication, and personal sacrifice. The, that reward is the American dream, which in my opinion is still alive and real. It hasn't always been easy, but my family's story in America is one of the millions who are a living testimony to this great and attainable dream. And I think what the American dream really means is that we can create our own narrative. Being a first generation American really allows me to create a narrative that's based on all these different viewpoints that I've gotten growing up. And that is something that I want to cover in future videos of these different viewpoints that I gained that gave me a, a different perspective on things happening in this country in the way that I was exposed to them. So in future videos, I want to talk about the different aspects of being a first generation American, what it means to be growing up as a juxtaposition with all these different opposing viewpoints in your uh, household and in the direct bubble that I grew up in with religion and culture uh, that was completely opposite to the culture that I experienced every day at school or at work. I also want to touch on the cultural pressures and the cultural shame that comes with being a first generation American and how uh, your immigrant parents or immigrant groups can really pressure you to feel a certain way and how that clashes with, the, with American ideals. And on that note, thank you for listening and until next time, stay tuned.